Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. In this episode we are playing as Eagle. Uh, we are heading off to the home stretch. Anyway, I'm going to be using Eagle's alpha color, because why not? And we are playing as Mike. See, look how much Eagle stands out. Well, actually, technically, it's supposed to be his, his CBS2 color, but eh, who cares. Anyway, uh, Eagle is a motion character, just like a lot of the other characters in this game. A uh, quarter circle forward punch uh, has him twirl his stick like this. That is a counter. So, uh, so there you go. It missed right there because of uh, weird hit detection. But there you go. That's how it goes. Uh, his quarter circle back uh, punch attack has him do this twirl. Uh, a, a Mr. Big-esque twirl attack. And then the heavy version uh, makes him move forward while the light version is stationary. And then quarter circle forward kick has him do this little... Uh, has him do the stick bash attack. And all it, all the strengths make him just do is just lunge forward. Uh, at different, uh, I'm very glad. <laughs> I'm very glad. <laughs> there you go, I can actually, under, I can actually understand him. Anyway, uh, Eagle just uses these sticks to poke people. That's basically about it. That's all Eagle does. He is kind of boring. He is a kind of boring character, but it's whatever. Okay, and his supers, uh, his court, he has a double quarter circle forward kick super, which is just the same goddamn thing. And then he has a quarter circle back for a uh, super, which is more twirling. So yeah, they're basically just enhanced versions of his special moves. I'm very glad. So losers should take a hike. This is a battle. Okay, Eagle. I get you. And then, and now that I've told you all of Eagle's moves, I'm going to proceed to be very, very bored. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is one of the few games I've played on YouTube where it hasn't enraged me completely. Like. It's very weird, but it's gonna be sad to see this game go, because I was actually I'm actually having a bit of fun with it. Maybe because I don't have the AI cheating on, which basically makes a Mugen AI te terrible, because most people don't code characters with the most intelligent AI. Unlike my Mugen, my Mugen edit, where I purposely try to find the most obnoxious shit possible. So there you go. I'm very glad. Anyway. Oh yeah! I wish you could move during that super. That'd make it better if you could move the spinning sticks. I don't know. You've got the luck to learn before you beat me. I mean, Eagle could very well have been the inspiration for Mr. Big because he uses two sticks. And the only real um, difference Mr. Big has is that his design is different, and that he, well, yeah, pretty much that's the only similarity Eagle and Mr. Big share. But yeah, it seems like a lot of the characters that SNK made for Art of Fighting were like deliberate clones of Capcom. Like they were, tr like SNK was trying to provoke Capcom, which. I mean, could have worked. I mean, I mean, it worked considering Capcom did inevitably respond to SNK's tomfoolery. I'm very glad. I'm very glad. This palette for Eagle is so much better than the other one, just because the other one is just so bleak and soulless. Honestly, Ken 
probably should have had a recolor of this stage with a uh, with a blue sky. That probably would have been better. I don't know, you can probably make that on your own time in a fire factory. I probably can make it. If I had learned how fire factory worked. <laughs> You've got to learn before you beat me. Fry again, Keith. <laughs> Ooh, battle of the countermen. Both of these men have counters. I I bet you a thousand dollars that Retsu is not gonna counter me through this whole match. However, I'm not gonna shake on it, because if I do shake on it, that'd be a very stupid thing. Because I know I'm about to eat my own fucking words. See, that's why you don't accept deals blindly. I'm very glad. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Retsu. Sue, you're supposed to be pathetic as hell. What the hell? Fuck! Retsu, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're such an idiot. There you go. Well, I uh, should have shuck on it, because I want my thousand dollars now. Sore losers should take a hike. Oh boy, it's for you. So we just stood there for a couple hours. Oh boy. Uh, better colored uh, eagle versus kind of better colored Ryu. Ryu still has the shoes, so it's weird. Honestly, I couldn't get into Alpha Ryu's design. I couldn't really get into it. His, his color palette was just off. Although, I do love me the Marvel vs. Capcom sprites of Ryu. Not, not during, like, uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter and uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, but I mean, like, Marvel 1 and Marvel 2. Like, those are the ones I like. I'm very glad. I'm very glad. And obviously, CVS 2 Ryu. God damn, amazing. Him and Ken, and uh, also a cool like pretty much all the Shotos in that game except for Sakura got amazing resprites in that game. I'm gonna play CVS2 one of these days, just because CVS2 is such a good game. It's so good. Although it does produce some rage. Although you only really rage when you're trying to get the bosses. Everything else is fine. Like, that game's a solid 8, maybe 9 out of 10. This I'd rate about a 7 or an 8. You know what? Yeah. You know what I should do is rate the games after playing them. The show must go on. That has nothing to do with anything. But you know what? Fine, I'll agree with you, Eagle. Okay. Uh, you know what? That's kind of like how my uh, restructuring took place. I was like, you know what? My life isn't so complicated right now after all. The show must go on. I just had to take a little bit of a break. I took like a week off, and then I came right back. Although, the not applying myself to a schedule thing is kind of working out in my favor, because my life feels a lot better. I'm still going to pressure myself to do videos, but... All over Geki. I'm, I'm very glad. Wow. That's a really good bait. If they don't get hit by the spinning stick, you should just go for a counter. Because most of the time, they're either going to try to evade you or, or go back. This too, but it leaves you. Oh, you can do both.
both? Oh no. Oh my god, he grabbed me through the lunge! What the fuck? Get you, please. Don't you know any better? Damn it! He grabbed me twice. That's the only damage he's gotten on me all the time, by the way. His grabs. LTG would have a very bad time with this. He'd be like, dude, what the fuck? All you're getting are fucking throws, you worthless specimen. <laughs> I'm just a, I just got banned from LTG's uh, stream, and I didn't even participate in one of those. I didn't participate in one of those shit shows. But you know what? Props to me. Yeah, if you want to watch Low to Your God, just watch a cringe compilation where they just collect all of his best fails. That's probably what you should do. Even then, I doubt I doubt you're gonna last the entire thing. You're probably just gonna put Oh my god, Ken. Ken learned. And Ken has adapted. Okay, Ken, I, I feel you. I feel you. So my strategy is not infallible. Okay. I didn't realize it took a blonde American boy to understand it. I'm very glad. <laughs> Although, this Toral attack, it's no Spinning Lancer, but I'll take it. Spinning Lancer! Which I should play or fighting. Not, not soon, but like, eventually. Eventually, I'm gonna do one for hard fighting. Hard of fighting. Just because I feel like I have a right to, to do that game. Because there's a way. If when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> You've got to let me learn. Okay. Oh wow, he picked the uh, blue colored alternate of mine. Can you get that? I want it. Oh, it's like birdies. It's like birdies. Uh. Goddamn birdies, fucking whatever it's called. Well, well, yeah, because there's alpha birdie and then there's the blue alpha birdie. So yeah, there is an alternate. Whatever. If I learned what button it was, I probably would have pushed it. But as a white neck, but you know what? The white shirt does look good. Both both of these costumes do look nice. But basically, the original is just basically the same sprite, but the colors are not as uh, not as. Uh, the colors aren't as bright, meaning they blend in with the background. Like, that's something that should never happen in a fighting game. You should never have your characters start blending in with the environment. I mean, it's good to make it more realistic, but at the same time, like in a 3D fighter, I get it, because you want them to actually be believable in the environment. But in a 2D fighter, no, don't do that, because then it makes the characters kind of hard to... Uh, it makes it hard to believe, you know, well, not believe, just... It makes it difficult to gauge where uh, the characters are relative to each other and the background, because if you start getting lost, then you'll start getting hit by bullshit, and then you're gonna get salty. I mean, there is, there is a pretty big gap to making... Jesus, you know what I realized? I didn't have Gen left after Birdie. <laughs> My god, that's such a scary god. I'm almost done with Eagle, and I feel like I've barely even pushed the record button. This is frightening! Street Fighter 1 is about to end soon! Jesus Christ, they're my first two credit quests and they're about to end. Although, technically, I did already start Killer Instinct. Which is why probably nobody even watched it. Which, by the way, I do apologize for a lot of these uploads being just complete trash. Such trash. And I understand the broken English, but... Don't fucking judge me. There, die. It's because I forgot how my technology worked. And I'm like, oh wait, 10 decibels? Yeah, that don't work. I need to have less than 15 decibels, because when I talk, it's very, very quiet, unless I'm yelling like a complete lunatic. Oh god.
I broke Birdie, apparently. I broke him. I, I legit broke him. Alright, Gen. Whoa! Excuse me, Gen, how about no? Bouncer? I don't know if Eagle's a bouncer. If he is, then they literally put, they literally just separated the, his two qualities and put them in the king of Mr. Big. I don't know. I just want to, if I had a time machine, I would just go back to those companies and just, I mean, I mean obviously I would have to learn Japanese first, but I would just want to see the thought process behind everything. Just... It's like, okay, what did what did Cap, what did we learn from Capcom that we can do to make our own unique thing? Uh we can make our main character have an orange outfit and blonde hair. And then And then it's like, okay, great, what do we name him? Ryu? Re, it's like, no, they already have Ryu. Try something else. Ryo? Okay, fine, whatever, just go with it. <laughs> and that's when Rio was born in the world, and then Capcom felt very, very ripped off. Although, in all fairness, Art of Fighting is a very, very important game series. Because, you know what? We wouldn't have super attacked without it. Because Fatal Fury 2 came out after Art of Fighting, and then that had desperation attacks, much like Art of Fighting had desperation attacks. And then it and then Art of Fighting was the first series to experiment with meter in a fighting game. Which then a couple of years later, um Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo would take upon. And then even uh, King of Fighters 94 would try it. And then at that point the super meter became unanimous with fighting games. Even this fan made one. See, there you go. Reaper Vegas. He knows fighting game trivia, but can't play the games for shit. Isn't that a beautiful irony? A wondrous oxymoron. That I know so much about these fucking games, but I can't play them in any goddamn capacity. I know I'm trash, leave me alone. I know I'm trash, leave me alone. Oh. There you go, the show must go on. So, so I was thinking about turning on AI cheating for this, and I'm like, you know what? Why I would want to subject myself to that nightmare is is a very, is a question beyond me, so I'm not going to go through AI cheating. Basically, AI cheating allows the computer to do special moves whenever they want, and by extension, they will break the fucking game. Because they know how to fucking break you at every fucking second when AI cheating is turned on. So, if you would not like an exercise in torture, don't turn on AI cheating, because you will drive yourself fucking mental. It legit will drive you insane if you have AI cheating on, so that's why I'm not going to do it for this series. It's probably not encouraged to have AI cheating. I don't even remember if they had AI cheating on when, I, when you download it. I turned it off for the sake of this series, you know, not lasting, not having all these episodes last, like, 40 minutes, because, like, you should have seen me in my original trying to get all the endings for this game, and then just, oh my god, I got so angry trying to get all those en endings with the AI cheating turned on. I'm very glad. <laughs> Alright, so I got. Let's go. 
I'm surprised he didn't get an alpha sprite. That would have been the most interesting one. This sprite with a fucking scar right down the middle and more tanned skin. That would have been easy to make. I mean, if they can take Birdie and completely change his, change out his skin tone, why not Sagat? They wouldn't even have to change his muscle very much. Hell, you couldn't even, even get away with just keeping him the same color. Just give him the scar. Like, scar to Sagat with this sprite? I don't think that actually looked kind of cool. Oh, you're such a dick. You're such a dick, Sagat. He knew where my fucking power was going to expire. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Sagat's hitboxes are jank as fuck. They're so... They're so janky. Oh, I gotta remember the text in this game goes at a million fucking miles an hour. Go. Go. Go! Fuck you. I won by chipping somebody out, I probably would have been the champion of this tournament already. Eagles are British League Agent two years ago who was assigned a mission to protect the Prime Minister in his visit to the USA. To USA. An anonymous message was sent to the British Intelligence HQ warning a possible murder attempt against the Prime Minister. <sighs> Is that Gorbachev? What the fuck? Whoosh, get down! Huh? Whoosh, during the World Warrior Tournament, Eagle found that the man who attacked the Prime Minister with two years ago was a ninja named Geki. Ignoring his victory in the tournament, Eagle went behind Geki. Hmm, I saw him enter in this way, but ah, it's useless. I lost him. Wait a minute, I believe I hear something. Yes, up ahead, voices. I best to hide then. So you failed to win the tournament. You disappoint us, Geki. This agent, codenamed Eagle. I have located the assassin Geki, awaiting instructions. Eagle. Geki is to be captured alive for interrogation. Failure is not an option. You know the punishment for failure. Death! Her. Oh, bloody hell. Get down, Geki! What? <laughs> Who are... Wait, you were the winner of the tournament. Why did you help me? Don't you remember? I was the one you scarred while you tried to kill the ambassador. Oh, well, that's how we got scarred. It was my brother you encountered. But because he failed, the clan masters punished him. Your brother... <clears throat> Why should I believe that to be true? If I really were my... If you, I were really my brother, I would have killed you where you stand just now. Nice shot, chap. I must be getting quite rusty. Anyway, it seems we're even now. So it seems. We shall not meet again. Wait! A rather odd fellow, but very honorable. I believe what he said was indeed the truth. Oh well. Hmm, what a mess. At least it wasn't a total failure. Th these dark ninjas must have been the ones who orchestrated the whole assassination. I must bring them in immediately. What an ending! <laughs> Uh, I probably missed a detail or two in there, but eh, whatever. So, yeah, that's how we got his scar. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna judge. But you know what? Next episode, we are gonna be playing a character who indeed gets a scar received to him, and that is the final boss, Sagat. I'll see you all next time.